Away from the aviation sector, we tell you that the Tertiary Education Trust Fund says it has addressed issues related to distressed projects across institutions in the country and is set to commission about 175 distressed projects in the next two weeks. The Executive Secretary of the Fund, Sonia Chono, made this known while speaking with newsmen at the two-day TED Fund Desk Officers Workshop held in Lagos. Adisha Wodrishoga reports. One of the major challenges facing the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, otherwise known as TET Fund, is funding, despite the efforts of the government. This is amidst growing expectations and demands by tertiary institutions for more facilities, trainings, and better access to research funding, among others. To ensure transparency and effectiveness in accessing interventions, the body organized a two-day TET Fund Desk Officers Workshop which focuses on improving intervention programs and processes in tertiary institutions. This is expected to familiarize heads of the institutions and TET Fund desk officers with the fund's operation standards and benchmarks. The Executive Secretary, Sonia Chono, who addressed the participant, hinted at the plans of TET Fund to deepen research and make it more impactful as well as promote research and innovations in information technology in its intervention program across institutions. With particular reference to issues around distress projects, what we did was to carry out a comprehensive survey of all ongoing third fund projects in all our 253 beneficiary institutions. And we have done a compilation of that. We've also assessed them to understand why some projects are not completed when they ought to be completed. For many of them, the majority of them, there are minor issues that are contractual. Some of the participants at the workshop include desk officers, directors of research and vice chancellors of various universities, polytechnics and other tertiary institutions across the country. A prime one for me is the way he advised the heads of beneficiary institutions in the way they replace desk officers and the advice is that they should let it be more of qualifications, competence of personnel and not just for the purpose of interest. Most of the research um, processes should be made more open like um, the, the schedule for like the IBR research, NRF research should also be known to us and like somebody mentioned if research proposals or concept notes are being rejected, they should be told the reason. According to TET Fund, this workshop is one to bridge existing gaps between the fund and beneficiary institutions as it concerns procedures and processes. The body also addressed some of the challenges that have often affected the smooth running of its funding programs with promises to execute uncompleted projects amidst rising demands by beneficiary institutions. Adesha Waudu Shoga reporting for News Central.